What up, peeps? It's your boy Glass to get with the sports in my garage, enjoying this uh, morning rain on a Monday morning. About to give you my quick thoughts on the game three of 2018 NBA Conference Finals between the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets. <laughs> I'm going to start off by saying, damn. We knew Golden State was going to come with a vengeance after losing game two. Going back home for the first time in this series, and uh, they whooped some ass. They beat the Rockets by 41 points. Final score was 126-85. to Golden State leads the series 2-1 to one right now. Uh, the Warriors broke a record, playoff record. They won their 15th straight playoff game at home. Uh, my beloved Bulls, 90-91 seasons uh, was the previous record. Uh, we knew Steph Curry was going to get off eventually. He did last night, 35 points. Uh, Kevin Durant had 25. Klay Thompson, 13. Iggy, Andre Iguodala had 10 points, and Quinn Cook came off the bench with 11. Four people on Houston's Scored in double digits. Harden had 20. Capella had, uh, Clint Capella had 13. Chris Paul had 13. And Eric Gordon came off the bench with 11. Um, I, had a, I have to question Chris Paul right now. Um, he averaged 10 assists a game for the season. In the last three games, he only accumulated 13 assists. Yes, the last three games, he only accumulated 13 assists, and he averaged 10 for the season, 10 a game for the season. So uh, Chris Paul needs to step his game up. Um, Mike D'Antoni, the head coach for the Rockets, called his team soft in the press conference after the game. Uh, Chris, Paul, Chris Paul agreed with him. James Harden agreed with him, and I have to agree with him. Uh, the way you played in game two, how physical you were, you you was you was beating up um, Steph Curry. That's the same way you should have played in this game, but you didn't. You let you let the uh, Warriors do what they wanted to do, shoot whatever they wanted to shoot. Um, Chris, uh, Steph Curry just shot whatever he wanted to. So that has to change in Game Four. But all in all, in this game, uh, it is what it is. And the scary part about it. Kevin Durant going to get his points, 25, 30, 35 points. Steph Curry just scored 35 points. So the only person who hasn't just blown up yet is Klay Thompson. You don't want Klay Thompson to blow up in game four and when you go back home down 3-1. So, like I said, Houston, they have to get physical again, do what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, you guys said y'all was built for You was built to play – excuse me. You was built to play – uh, you was built to play against the Golden State Warriors. You got to prove it, you know. So we'll see what happens. It's Monday night. Tonight we have game four of the Eastern Conference Final between the Cavaliers and Boston Celtics. And like I told you on the last Quick Thoughts video, Cavaliers need this game. They need to win this game because they do not want to go back to Boston down 3-1. It's over. It will not be a game six. It will be over in game five. So it's going to be inter interesting to see how Boston bounced back from that loss um, Saturday night. I'll be back tomorrow to give you my thoughts on the game tonight between the Cavaliers. I mean, yeah, between the Cavaliers and the Celtics. And uh, enjoy your day. This your boy, Glad. Give with the sports. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be good, be safe. Get with it. Peace.